Hello, this is Mighty Owl. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Cereal? Some eggs and bacon? Or maybe you had some cereal, fruit, and yogurt. Whatever it was, I'm sure it gave you loads of energy to hop around and be merry and mighty. We, just like any other member of the animal kingdom, need food for energy in order to live. We eat things like meat, fruits, and vegetables. These food give us the energy we need to walk, run, and think. Some of us choose to not eat any meat, and they are called vegetarians. Did you know that some animals also don't eat any meat? Can you think of any? Giraffes, elephants, bison, and many others. And then there are other animals that only eat meat. Let's jump in and take a look at a few different animals and the types of food they eat. Oh, yes. Here is one powerful animal, the tiger. Look at those teeth. Wow. The tiger uses them to catch its prey. Now, you may wonder, what is prey? Well, prey is an animal that is hunted by other animals. Tigers are great hunters because they can run fast and have sharp claws. Once the tiger has caught its prey, it uses its teeth and claws to eat the meat. Tigers are carnivores. Carno what? A carnivore is an animal that eats meat, or in other words, a meat eater. Imagine having steak, ribs, and chicken for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Well, carnivores do that. They are also called predators. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for its food supply. Tigers have to do that because they just can't go to a restaurant and order a meal. <laughs> nope, they need to hunt for their meals. So, in the tiger's case, it hunts and eats other animals like antelopes, deer, and wild pigs. Other carnivores are lions, wolves, alligators, oh, and my favorite, the mighty owl. But not all carnivores have big teeth. Some of them have big beaks. Large birds like eagles use their sharp beaks to eat their food. They fly up high in the air and use their amazing eyesight to spot their prey. Usually smaller animals like mice running around in the grass. Then they swoop down and use their sharp claws to grab their meal. While most carnivores are hunters, some have to be more creative in the ways they get their food. Some carnivores trap their food. Most spiders are in the carnivore family because they eat insects. Spiders spin their webs in order to catch their prey. There are even plants that are carnivores. This is a very unique type of carnivore. It's a trapping plant called the Venus flytrap. Imagine that, a plant that eats insects. It's so cool. And just like some people are vegetarians and choose not to eat meat, there are animals that only eat plants. An herbivore is an animal that only eats plants. There are many animals like that. These creatures usually have flat teeth so that they can grind up the plants that they eat. Herbivores come in all shapes and sizes. Rabbits and caterpillars are herbivores, but so is the African elephant. Yep, that's right. These giant creatures eat 200 to 600 pounds of grass, bark, leaves, and twigs every day. Other examples of herbivores are pandas, cows, rhinos, and many more. There are also animals who eat both plants and meat. Such animals are called omnivores. Most people are omnivores because they eat fruits and vegetables as well as meat and eggs. If you're having chicken and potatoes for dinner, you're an omnivore too. Omnivores have some longer sharp teeth as well as flat back teeth. 
even humans have some sharper teeth to help tear meat and flat back teeth to grind fruits and veggies. Bears are great examples of omnivores. They eat berries and grains, but they'll also eat fish and birds. Other animals that eat both meat and plants are raccoons, monkeys, and turtles. Our planet is full of so many different kinds of creatures. All of them need food for energy in order to run, climb, and swim. Herbivores get their energy from plants, so they need to have flat teeth for grinding them. Carnivores are hunters, and many of them have sharp teeth and claws to catch and eat their prey. Then we have the omnivores, who will eat a lot of different types of food, both plants and meat. So the next time you sit down for a meal, think about whether you are eating like a carnivore, an herbivore, or an omnivore, and always enjoy your mighty meals. For there is so much joy to be had through food. <laughs> Stay mighty, scholars.